Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. Another little food for thought. I want you to think about this. My niece and I, that conversation we had before I made this video, we were talking about how family members have strained relationships. And that goes for friends as well, or co-workers for that matter. Well, what I want to share with you is how you and I can make a normal situation so ugly. You know why? Because of the ugly that's embedded deep in our hearts, minds, spirits, and emotions, and from our past. Now, sometimes we have to remember, if we are overly sensitive, there's a reason. There's always a reason. There are times you can, I'm listening to a waltz, this music you're hearing now. If you're trying to dance with someone and they make a mistake and step on your toe, but your feet are in good shape, it's like, okay, but I'll get over it. And so will you. However, don't let there be a corn, baby. <laughs> no telling what words might fly out of your mouth through impulse, reflex. <laughs> you have no idea what will fly out of your mouth. You don't even know if you might even get angry at the person, even though you know it's unintentional. That's why we have to be careful. Because when people figuratively step on our toes, it's not good. Especially when we are ready to respond. You hear me? So you just kind of remember that God will use those situations to show you you're wounded in that area. And if you really want to know, I'll walk you through this thing and I'll walk you out of it too. And that's the part that some of us are not really ready to deal with. We're not sure we want to go through that to get out of it. It's sometimes more comfortable with the familiar. I've been this way all my life. I've been hurting all my life. I know that gets on my last nerve. I know that I feel abandoned or I feel like I can't trust people or I get paranoid about what people mean when they say what they say. But I know me. I've always been this way. Well, that's not the way God wants you to always be. And if he's ready, willing, and able, which he's always able, and he's always willing, if you're ready for him to do what it takes to get all of this injury reversed and get healed, you will find, as I did after God healing me, that the same things that got on your nerves a year ago, 20 years ago, 20 days ago, is it not hurting you or bothering you now? Why? Well, if the pain and sensitivity is gone, hey, you can't hurt me like you would if I was raw. If I have a raw burn on my hand and you put your hand on it and squeeze it, just a little pressure, I'd be like, ooh, that would be my instinct correct? Not that I don't want you to touch me. Not that I don't want you to hold my hand. No. It's not that I'm mad at you. It's because I'm hurting and any kind of pressure will make me react, overreact. So when this heals, 
a month or two or a year or five years later and you do the exact same thing, I'm going to embrace it. That's why some of us push people away who love us. Some of us can't handle the love. Some of us can't handle another person's concern. Well, what did you mean by that? Well, why do you always have, you always do that? Well, what are they doing? Loving you? Being concerned? Guess what? You're raw. You're tender. You're hurting. You're sensitive, overly sensitive, and raw. And you need healing. You need to ask God for that. And you'll see the difference.